Mr. Brandy asked for night hunt for her tenth birthday, and Brandy always gets what she wants. She flashes her smile, the one that makes dimples pop up in her cheeks. Oh, guess I'm not auditioning for a thing. Well, what? But while we're doing that, let's talk about a horror film. In this case, the Mitchie of Thirteen. The kind of place you'd expect a ghost to like to wander around in. When it's haunted, by Kathleen. How did she die? She drowned in the pond. You remember all those years ago, the dreams, faces in the shadows. Well, when you think about it, what is the most iconic slasher film? Well, Psycho, of course. And in a way, it would help, like, you know, put the seas into the ground of films that would eventually come out that would, you know, try to go through the same ideas, like, say, an individual that has gone crazy. So, let's check it out! Greetings and salutations. Today we're looking at the film Dementia 13. I'm a bit worried. I'm afraid she's just going to come off me and just start scratching. But... So what was the film about? Well, basically the film was about a... Okay, she's gonna run away now. So, in this case, looking at a film from 1990... 1963, Dementia 13, which was directed by Francis Ford Coppola and produced by Roger Corman. And what actually happened in this film? Well, I actually have been wanting to talk about this film for a long time, mostly because I hadn't, um, like, you know, gotten out of the DVD, out of the DVD case and all that, along with never having gotten a chance to watch the Transformers anime movie. But what was this film about? Well, what the film was about was, in a way, a woman who is upset for her husband, husband um after he ends up having a heart attack she ends up like saying like say hey don't worry he's okay he's still alive and she ends up going to her the, um brothers and the family's house in Ireland to try to like see how they're doing when they're while they're having their yearly um memorial for the youngest in the family Catherine and ever so often, a killer stalks the night. Boogie, boogie, boogie! I am the ghost of Samuel Arrow. Spooky! And what? Who could this be? Who could it be in all the characters that we have in the film? What I liked about the film was that in the fact that, yeah, I didn't, I hadn't really looked, before I had, like, watched the film, I didn't really know, hey, this film was in black and white. Because when I looked at, like, say, when I first got it, I didn't think, huh. Mostly because, like, they had, like, little red fil filters and all that. I thought, huh, okay, this is going to be a vibrant, colorful film. <laughs> But yeah, it's not. Um, there are some great moments of like, okay, I can see all the moments that are trying to be a, um, a bit of a psycho uh, copy. Like at the beginning of the film where uh, he, like say, uh, John Halloran, uh, Louise's husband, after he has his uh, heart attack. And then she froze his butt off the boat. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can see a bit of that. It sort of like reminds me of how in Psycho, uh, like you say, the main character that of uh, that film, she runs away after stealing some money. Whereas this film, she's trying to go to Ireland, Ireland to try to secure some money from the mother-in-law. And yes, uh, she it does it pretty well in the fact that ever so often she tries to move in onto the family they try to like, say, Hey, I'm I'm okay. Like say, you don't need to be worried about me. I haven't been doing anything kooky or, you know, having any secrets sort of deal. Of course. Keep that microscope you've got built into your eye off of me. I'll see you. One of the things that we figured, like, say, oh, okay, so how is she going to try to figure, like, like, the mother, get the mother-in-law to give her the money? Well, the mother-in-law is still, uh, have, like, thinking of her daughter who pa who drowned in a, the family's pond. So, she has the idea, stealing some, uh, doll, toy dolls from Catherine's, uh, bedroom. And trying to throw them into the pond to make it look like Catherine's spirit is telling her stuff. But, along when she does that, she ends up uh, bumping into the mysterious killer of the film. So, it's the, at times, the film has a bit of a who-is-it kind of vibes of who is the mysterious killer. How, we do have a bit of a flashback at one point where, like, say, um, like, you know, the siblings and all that. So, you know, like, there's two brothers, so it has to be one of them. I will, I will say that the, like, uh... The death sequences, or attacks, are pretty innovative, not because, like, say, hey, mostly because, like, say, this is a few years out of Psycho. So, yeah, we don't really always honestly see who the killer is, sort of like... In Psycho, you know, the killer is obscured. Until later we feel like, say, oh, we might have an idea who it is. When, uh, like, say, the pond is drained and we have like, everyone's question. I like, say, who wrote this statue? Who wrote it? Who wrote it? Yes, I, I think it's, yes. How to get burned? How to get burned? I, How to get burned? How to get burned? I don't know! But our our friend Billy Powell, played by Bart Penn, he is slowly starts to go. Uh, he starts to reveal stuff. Richard, tell me what happened. What happened to Louise? And eventually, it's we have at the climax of the film, we eventually figure out it was Billy who was the killer of the film. And he, he yeah, he, he attacked the mother, uh, Lady Halloran. <laughs> There are, I will say, like, say, yeah, the film has a bit of strength in, like, say, there's not, like, say, a ton of kooky characters or 
moments. Although we have Simon, who is a poacher, who's trying to catch foxes and other animals. Like, yeah, his accent is kind of, uh, it is kind of like, yeah, that that's kind of amusing. I will say, the moment when I thought, okay, how are these characters not noticing it? This. When, uh, Louise, is, she is watching the family at the memorial. How was she, how was no one noticing her? How is no one noticing her? So overall, a very entertaining film. Enjoy today's video, if you like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Heck, why not even subscribe? It'll help us out. And, you know, appreciate it too. So, see you later.